first prediction for me. The best game that I'm looking at for this uh, next three days, first in softball, we're going to go with that Dixie 96 game. Why is it a big game? Because it's for the region championship and it's at 96. Even though 96 is at home, I'm going to take Dixie because they were my sleeper team in that region all year. And I was actually right with that prediction because the Dixie Hornets have been improving this entire season. They only got one loss in the region, and that was to the 96 Wildcats. But that was very early in the season. 96, uh, it's kind of like fool's goal right now, smoke and mirrors, because they're playing these weak teams right now. They played McCormick, and then I think they followed that up with a Tomasi Salem game. And now, uh, just the other night, well, last night, they lost to Mid-Carolina 12-3. So we actually got to see the true Wildcats. And we're going to get to see them again later on this week against Dixie. Dixie's going to take that game. I'm going to give them a score of 7-1. to one. They're going to avenge that loss from earlier in the season. Mark, give me a game you're looking at I'm for looking the next at, couple of days. You might have to look at the Emerald Abbeville game. You know, like you said, playoff limitations still in that game. And um, <clears throat> Emerald. Beat Abbeville the first time easily in five innings. You know, Kevin McKenna threw that one one hitter in five innings. And now Abbeville, they did play well last night. And they had some good pitching. But they got beat by a walk-off hit right there at the end. And I don't know. It's going to come down to it. Abbeville at home. And we'll go and tune in. If Emerald can't take the bats and Abbeville has a good game, I'm going to go with Abbeville this time. Maybe a little upset right here. Abbeville try to stay in the playoffs. Abbeville wins that game. 4-3 on the title. I'm going to go with Abbeville as well. I think the, uh, the Panthers are going to, you know, still kind of mad about, you know, giving up that big loss at Viking Park. And uh, if they pitch Kevin McKenna again, which they might because he had such a strong out in the last time, Abbeville's probably going to be ready for him because they've seen what he's got to offer. I'm going to give the Abbeville a score of 5-4. Like I said, it's going to be a pretty close one. Also, I'm looking at that T.O. Hanna versus Greenwood High game. It's another region game. This one's more about, I think Greenwood High is going to make the playoffs in that region, but this one's more about the seed in that. If, uh, if Greenwood High can move up in the seed, they can get a better spot in the playoffs. And plus, Brooks Hall, last time out, pitched a perfect game against the Eagles. So are they going to be able to get some runs on the board? Are they going to be able to get some hits on the board? Are they even going to be able to get a runner on base this time? If Brooks Hall comes to the mound, no. <laughs> if they throw somebody else, it'll be a good chance, but T.O. Hanna's still going to win. T.O. Hanna, uh, I think Mark's taking T.O. Hanna. I'm going to agree with him on this one. If Brooks Hall comes to the mound, it's pretty much over. Even if Greenwood throws Christian Powell, it's just too much Brooks Hall, you know, for the Eagles. Last time, I don't think uh, Brooks Hall has changed anything since the last time they saw him. He's probably just getting better. Exactly. And uh, like you said, T.O. Hanna, I'm going to take him in a score of 7-1 to one over the Eagles, even though the Eagles are at home. And also, I'm going to mention, uh, I know we mentioned on the last show that that Pendleton Abbeville game, is a softball game, was on Monday night, but it's actually going to be played tonight. So Abbeville's going to take on Pendleton at home. Like I said, I still think that's going to be a big game in that region because Pendleton's right there mm -hmm. up underneath Crescent and Abbeville in that third third horse, you know. So I'm looking for Pendleton to put on a good show in the night against Abbeville, give them a little bit of competition. But Abbeville's still going to take it 7-4. to four. That's going to be my last pick. If you want to see the rest of them, you're going to have to go on the site. If you want to see how I'm going to get back this crown off of Mark Davis's head, you go on the site, you check it out, greenwoodtodaysports.com. Check out John G's, Mark D's sports predictions for I the rest stuck. of the week. It, it's stuck. I don't think you're getting it back. We're just Because I'm right again. <clears throat> he's right again, guys. Uh, either he's going to have to get a haircut <laughs> or uh, we're going to have to just cut his head off. Okay. I know that's kind of you know gruesome, but we're, we're going to have to do it. Anyway... Uh, we're going to leave it at that. You know, it's been a great run here with the uh, midweek report. And uh, we're not going to do any college announcements today. We're going to save that for the Monday Madness, save that for later on in the week when some more stuff starts happening. No, uh, no college announcements, no professional sports news. We're going to leave it with just the high school roundup. It's been fun talking to you, sitting here with Mark Davis, the king of predictions. I'm going to give it to him for this, you know, first two days. I'm going to come back strong next time for you. This is my house, but you're welcome anytime. This is the Midweek Roundup. I'm Jonathan Graves, and I am out.